So it's uh, August 6th, and RJ figured it was time to tackle the Kermath Sea Pup, the little one cylinder gas powered engine with this neat little gearbox in the back. We've got some issues with valves and no rings and no compression and RJ's fully enjoying the challenge of trying to undo this puzzle. But you'll get it back together, right RJ? <laughs> One way or the other. Maybe it'll just run backwards afterwards. And we've continued work on saving Corlear. The top sides are done. The combings are all sanded and double coated at this point. The decks have been released of all their really uh, badly worn deck paint that had some non-skid mixed in with it. We've been working on, or I should say RJ's been working on varnishing the companionway framework and lit and top. But she's really coming along. Her family has decided that uh, we should continue inside to include the cockpit area because we ran into some pretty serious rot where the bottom of the combing board uh, sits on the bench on each side, the starboard and port, and the framework or the locker on the starboard side as well as on the port side really needs our attention. So we'll continue till we have rejuvenated everything on the outside of the boat. We are not going to venture into the cabin. But she's coming and she's looking more like the boat she should be with each passing day. So in a couple more days we'll be putting hardware back on and fitting her to her new trailer or should I say fitting her new trailer to her uh, the trailer she was on just didn't fit her well, didn't carry her well, and uh, we're going to put her on a tandem axle trailer that has sufficient capacity to both launch and retrieve her easily, but more importantly to transport her safely and to store her on the trailer in a manner that does not threaten compromising the hull in any way. So, as I said, August 6th, we're hoping in another week, Corlear will be on her trailer and on her way back to her family.